Hey, welcome back. This is the verse section. Uh, Dust in the wind, the verse section. We have already tackled the intro, and hopefully you've got a good handle on that right-hand pattern. What we're going to see now, and you'll refer to your sheets, we've got some chord shapes to deal with, and then we're going to adjust a right-hand pattern uh, as per the chord of the moment. So what we've got here is a C, no problem there. The verse starts out with just a regular C, play one pattern. Pattern just like the verse was there. Now the second chord, G slash B. There's several G slash Bs out there. Uh, you want this guy here, and uh, you'll see a fingering on your chord diagram. Second and pinky's a good one for sure. It will take the same pattern as the intro. So nothing in the right hand has changed at all. Here we go. Good. Now here's our first variation. We've got an A minor shape here, but you'll notice so uh, the little dots you're seeing there, the finger picking notation. Uh, we are going to play our pinch, which used to be the fifth string and the second string, is now going to be the fifth string and the highest string, the first string. And now we want to use your third finger on your right hand. It's important to use the correct fingers or you get all tangled up. We want to assign uh, certain fingers to certain strings. So now our pinch is going to be this. Hope you can get in there and see that. That's my thumb and my ring finger, my third finger in there playing the highest string. So that's our first variation. And it returns at that point to the rest of the normal pattern. So here is that entire pattern for that first A minor with the high note. And I'll continue. So it's just that one, I'll call it a displacement. It's just that one note that's being displaced. The high E string instead of the B string for that first pinch. Here we go. It then returns to a normal A minor, meaning in the right hand, so just like your intro was. There we go. And then we are heading to what I will call a finger picker's G. I think we all know G this way, or we know G this way. Um, for finger picking, a lot of the times you're going to find one finger, your third finger in there like that. Uh, it has to do with uh, the, the tuning of the guitar and the, what the open strings are. So one finger on there. Now, um, in all the chords thus far, you'll see an X in the diagram, meaning that the low E string has been out of bounds. You're not supposed to use it on all the chords we've seen thus far in the song, intro and verse. Uh, in this case, uh, that is our juicy bass note, so we definitely have to use that big thick string. So all you have to do, what once was here, is now going to be here. So our pinch, instead of being like that, is going to be like that. Second finger is still going to be where he should be, where he's been all along here. So I'm going to pinch. Now the rest of the pattern. Uh-oh, i got to go back and get this guy. i got to change. There you go. So again, on the finger picker's G, here we've got pinch, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. So it's really the same pattern, except what once was here on the A string with the thumb is now on the low E. We're not using that A string this time, or fifth string. Um, so here that G is again. There we go. And here's another one here, D minor seven. D minor 7, if you're familiar with an F chord, which not a lot of us like, it, um, it's just really like an F chord minus the third finger. D minor 7, you notice the first finger's in there barring like that, holding down two strings, that's important, and your middle finger's right there. I think you'll find finger picking will bring about buzzes that you did not know were there when you're strumming because we're individualizing each of those strings. So grin and bear it, they'll go away. That's pretty normal to get some buzzing at first. Um, this is our last variation here on the right hand. Now there are two X's in this D minor 7th chord, meaning that the low E and the A strings are out of bounds, right? We don't want to play those. So the whole system moves down toward the floor. My pinch is now right there, thumb on the, on the D string or the fourth string, and my middle finger is now playing the high E string, the first string, the thinnest string, and there's your pinch. Now your thumb is going to come down to here, to the G string or third string, and then here's your first finger, and then thumb, two, thumb, one. Please know that it is the same basic pattern, except it's which string set we're selecting, right? So it should, it'll feel familiar in the right hand. Where we get clumsy is string selection. So here again, if D minor seventh in the left hand and right hand, pinch, thumb, one, thumb, two, thumb. That's utilizing the top four strings, the thinnest four strings. Again, okay. pinch, thumb. Good stuff. We go, and then we are back to an A minor with the high string displacement that we saw earlier in the verse. This guy here. 
Check your notation if that's moving too quickly in there. There we go. Let me do that again. And then it's a regular A minor, meaning in the right hand. Now that's all based off that basic pattern. So you can see why we'd want to have a handle on that. Let's go all the way through it slowly, one time slowly. Here comes your C chord. G slash B. A minor with the high note displaced. Regular A minor in the right hand. And finger pickers G. Watch that right hand thumb there. D minor 7th, top 4 strings only, and A minor with the high note displacement, and another one of those, a regular A minor, there we go, and maybe a bit more up to tempo, G, D minor 7th, The verse is going to repeat. The verse will repeat, and then it's going to be heading back to. It's going to be heading to the chorus after that. So take your time. Just take it chunk by chunk here. You've seen all you're going to see in the right hand now. Now it'll be a matter of stitching together these different sections. So that was dust in the wind. The verse section. Come on back for the chorus in just a minute. See you soon. Very soon.